Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua here at SaltyScales.com. So today we're going to be covering a very fundamental procedure. Many may ask, especially that are new to fishing, how to properly reel in your fish utilizing a spinning rod and a spinning reel. Now, it may seem obvious, but if you're not familiar with the mechanics of the rod and the reel, then you probably don't know how to properly reel in your fish. And I see it all the time. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. All right, so you made your cast, you're sitting here, you're waiting on a little nibble, and as the fish starts to take off, you set the hook. Now, your biggest and most energetic run is probably going to come at the very initial hit. At this point, you want to hold the rod at 45 degrees, especially if you're in an open area. Now, if you're around structure or hanging mangroves, you may want to put the rod down and give sidearm pressure. What this does is it allows you to turn the fish's head from going into the structure, but it also allows you to go low with the line so it doesn't touch any hanging obstructions. Now, if you're in the open space, you keep the rod at a 45 degree angle. Your drag should be set at approximately 20 to 30% of the line strength. You can use a scale. I've been fishing long enough now that I could feel it just by pulling the line and I can make the proper adjustments that way. Now, as the fish stops running, he'll start to slow down and you'll see it, you know, your spool barely rotate in here. Now, once he stops, you want to reel down, point the rod towards the fish and start to pull up. Reel down, pull up and you're using your rod as a lever. Do not sit there and just keep, point your rod straight at the fish and just reel. I see people do that all the time. First off, it tears up the reel. And secondly, what's the purpose in the rod if you're doing that? You wanna use it as a lever, pull up, reel, pull up, reel. When the fish starts to run again, you allow him to run. So a couple grip options. You have the four fingers in front of the post here. Sometimes I take and put my pinky behind the reel. And some people like to do two in the front, two in the back. So that way, you know, that's however you're comfortable. Now, it's just like everything. You wanna do what's most comfortable. There's no right or wrong way. So try out the different holds, figure out which one works for you, and it should be good. Now, you'll notice when you pick up at a 45 degree angle, you can allow your wrist to bear all the weight. But what I like to do is apply the butt to my arm when I lift up. So as the pressure of the rod gets pulled, as the pressure of the rod gets pulled, you can see that the butt of the rod is now going against my forearm, giving, giving me a bunch of leverage. Now, if I didn't do that, all of that weight is going to go on my wrist and you can see how not nearly as stable and it's very taxing on the wrist so utilize your forearm when you're pumping that rod and keeping it at 45 degree angle all right so here's one of the more advanced techniques and i don't recommend that you try it unless you're very familiar with your tools such as your rod and reel but it's called feathering so what that means is i'll use a lighter uh, drag than i typically would especially in an open area and then as the fish starts to run then i'll use my finger to slow him down and apply pressure and once he starts to slow then i'll go back to my fundamentals pull the rod up reel down pull the rod up reel down pull the rod up reel down until the fish gets to the boat reel it in my fish Reeling in my fish, he's in the, he's to the boat. Oh my goodness, look at this big boy, and boom. See that monster was pulling all that drag. <laughs> hey guys, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, turn on them post notifications, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.